What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So I got a little bit freaking sunburn yesterday, but we ended up working on the NASCAR go-kart yesterday. Now today I did pick up some paint and different things because I kind of want to play with the NASCAR body and uh, try to figure out what we want to do. I did take your guys' suggestion and I picked up some orange paint. Uh, not sure how it's going to turn out, but we got some gloss pumpkin orange paint. And uh, I'm going to see how close it is. It's somewhat close. It's close enough to where I'll be okay with it. So we got two cans of that. A little bit of clear coat. Because we are going to potentially clear coat the whole fiberglass body today. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. I'm going to set you guys down for a hot minute. If this decides it's going to cooperate with me. We got some blue. Some painter's tape. Some white and another freaking can of orange so we're gonna teeter with this body today might take the wheels off might do the wheels today i'm not entirely sure but i'll catch you guys right after the freaking intro Good work good good work so we have uh, the uh the nascar go-kart body out here no it is not touching the ground but i want to try to figure out how many lines we can make underneath here with the painter's tape that i have are you excited <laughs> all right perfect so as you guys can see we got all the new decals on yesterday and we are going to play around with it today and see what we can accomplish Hey guys, day 19, no tobacco, sponsored by none other than candidates. Nice little tape jabby. But I think this is what we're going for. And we're gonna hit the areas obviously not taped in blue, right? Right? I have no idea what you're saying. Okay. Weather conditions are not the greatest to be doing this, but that is completely okay. I just sprayed and wiped down the fiberglass body, so I'm gonna put the first coat on and I will touch base with you guys here in a second. A little bit of a plot twist. I feel a couple little raindrops right now, so we're gonna work on trying to figure out how to get these wheels off of here. So uh, we can paint these wheels orange. <laughs> passenger front wheel which is great 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 news well since it's not raining right now i might actually bring the body out here and finish off the body but we can at least get two wheels cleaned up and painted uh but obviously we're gonna have to try to figure out what to do with the front hub here might have to replace it uh, but i'll look into it a little bit further here in a little bit lesson learned when taking those wheels off let the air out of them. Then you won't have the same issues that I'm having. But looks like the weather's getting a little bit better. So let's get our first coat of paint on the actual body. First coat is on. Okay. 
hopefully this turns out pretty good. It looks like it's laying on the ground there, but it's not. Just trust me that it's not. We're gonna try to get probably a good four or five coats on this before we end up taking the tape off. Alrighty guys, I think this will be a good moment of truth. And uh, I think we're dry enough to be able to take off our tape. Well, I bumped you guys back just a little bit, but let's see here. See if I can find this bottom piece. This makes sense to go from the top, right? I put so much damn tape on top of here. We got this though. Really curious as to how this looks. Almost there. Now obviously once we get down towards the piece, down all the way down at the bottom, we're gonna be pulling a lot slower than what we're pulling right now. I think we have two more yet. Actually, we're gonna take it all in one piece. Let's see. Are we ready? Yeah. Let's see how we look underneath here. I'm trying to be as slow and as cautious as possible. I'm trying to make this stay still a little bit. Streamline. It is a little bit wet yet, I can tell. Definitely gonna have to go slow. Whew. Oops. Luckily that didn't hit the paint. Sorry if this is kind of boring, guys, but this is part of the process here. Also, while we kind of have some time to kill, because I'm going to be pulling this for probably another 30 seconds, um, I'm pretty sure that I did strip that front hub, at least the one lug off of that, which I just ended up buying a replacement hub. Not the end of the world. But definitely something we're gonna have to do before we put the cart back on the road. Unless I can find a way to get that bolt off of there uh, in and of myself, but I really don't wanna play with it this video. I'd rather just get this stuff done. And then I'm gonna show you guys the wheels, which is kind of new to me as to how those wheels actually work. And uh, they're two separate wheels, so that's pretty cool. So uh, I'm actually going to be able to completely hit everything on those wheels. That looks pretty damn good, just being honest with you guys. Now the biggest thing, getting this front done. Let's see how this looks. I was a little leery about doing the front the size that we did, uh, but with the body lines of the cart, it just made the most sense for us to do this. So that's why I did what I did. But, looks like we're getting down to the bottom now. So we don't want to pull that one just yet. Let's pull this. Bada boom, bada bing. And then I'm gonna start pulling these off. I wonder if I can get this all in one piece. That would be freaking awesome, but I highly doubt it. I can get them all started, then we can do it. Oh, look at that. Can of corn. Oh, what a view.
Alright. So. Now. This is where I said it was a little bit leery, guys. This bottom is a lot bigger than what I initially planned on doing. But with the body line of the actual cart itself, it made sense to do this. And I don't think it's going to look bad as long as my lines match up pretty damn close. And our tape job did its job. We should be all right here. I did have to kind of round off that corner. So if it looks kind of funky there, that's why. Because uh, that was just my tape job by hand. I'm not too worried about it though. Honestly, not too many blemishes coming across as I look and pay attention to everything that's kind of going on. It actually turned out pretty damn clean. Sweet. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to bore you guys to death, but I'm going to get the rest of this stuff off, and uh, then we'll take a better look at the car. Well guys, all the tape is off. I guess next step is getting it inside and getting away from that bee to get a better look at it. I did kind of mess up right here with our transition. I noticed it, and now that I pointed it out to you guys, you got mad. I guess I did it on both sides, so I guess it's okay. But we obviously can't mount it onto the freaking body right, or the uh, the frame in and of itself right now because we have our wheels separated right now so we can prep them and get them ready for paint but damn i got the air out of these freaking tubes so here we are without the paint spray from the macadam kind of showing the rest of it but it's not perfect by any means i still don't know how i feel about the abundance of blue in the front here i feel like it'll grow with me over time especially once the black is clean i feel like it'll it'll grow on me but this is what we're looking like right now for the nascar go-kart let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below from this angle it really don't look that bad Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If this was your first time watching a video on my channel, I hope you give this freaking video a big thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button down below. Follow the Harley build, which I don't know how much we're going to be doing the Harley, but who knows? Time will tell. Obviously, the NASCAR go-kart, the Warrior, the Jeep Wrangler out there, the four-door lifted on 35s, JKU, the LB7 Duramax lawn ornament that's sitting out there, and the Mark IV, $900 perfect daily driver Jetta that really hasn't been so freaking perfect. Until the next time, guys, I'll freaking see ya.